In this video, we'll be discussing the permutation test. Suppose we had two groups of fish. We had genetically modified fish. And let's say that there were three of them. It weighs three kilograms, four kilograms, and another one that has four kilograms. Let's say that we had regular fish. It weights one kilogram, two kilograms, and one kilogram. So our question is, is there a difference in the average weight between these two groups of fish? Now we could see that there is just based just looking at the weights, but how would we how would we confirm this using a permutation test? Or how would we test this using a permutation test? And so the way we do it is first we'd find the true differences of means. And so first we're going to take the means. Let's call it the genetically modified group GM and the uh, regular fish group R. And suppose we have the data in this format. The data, and just put them right next to each other, the numbers. first thing we're going to do, we're going to take the mean of the GM group. So the mean of the GM group is 3.66 and then the mean of the regular group is 1.33. And so the true mean, the difference, so the difference of mean, difference true is equal to 3.66 subtract 1.33 which is equal to 2.33. And so this is the true mean, difference in mean. So we took the means of each group, of the GM group and the regular group, and we subtracted them. So we have 2.33. So generally the concept of, now we're going to go into the permutation test. Uh, the concept of the permutation test is, so a permutation is if we have letter A, B, and C, letters A, B, and C, and we, one permutation of A, B, and C is, uh, for example, B, A, C. Another permutation is C, A, B. And the number of permutation is actually equal to the number of uh, letters. So 1, 2, 3, 3 factorial, which is equal to 3 times times 2 times 1 is equal to 6. And so the first thing we're going to do is that we are going to permute. So one permutation is B, A, C of A, B, C. That's just rearranging the letters. We are going to perm permute this data up here. And so let's say permutation, I'm going to put perm number one. Let's say after permuting the data once, we get one, three, four, four, two, one. So this is just one random permutation of the data up here. And so now we're going to take the same number of, uh, of items in group one, which is there are three fish. So we're going to take the mean of that amount. So the first three, we're going to take the mean of that. So the mean of one, three, and four is equal to 2.66. And the mean of four, two, and one is equal to 2.33. And so now we're going to take the difference of the, of the um, first permutation. So I'm going to call this D of P1. Is equal to 2.66 subtract 2.33 which is equal to 0 0.33 so we're going to take another random permutation term number two and let's say that random permutation is 2 4 1 1 3 4 we're going to perform the same exact procedure take the mean of the first three numbers which is 2 4 1 and so this is 2.33, then the mean of the second three numbers, which is 2.66. And so the difference of the perm of permutation number 2 is equal to 2.33 subtract 2.66, which is equal to minus 0 0.33. And lastly, let's say we permuted these, the six numbers one more time. So perm 
number three, and then let's say we got one, four, four, three, two, one. And so we'll perform the same exact procedures. Take the mean of the first three, which is three, the mean of the second three, which is two. And so the difference of the permutation number three is equal to three subtract two is equal to one. And so let's plot let's plot these three values. 0 0.33 as the first permutation, minus 0 0.33 and one. Uh, using a histogram. So we're gonna make a histogram right here. And then so we have let's say one is here. 1 is here, 0.5, so 0 0.33, let's say that's right around here, and then we have a 0 0.33 right here, and then we have a, a 1. So here are the three data points, <clears throat> the three permutations. Now, the total number of permutations that we can have is, since, since we have six numbers that we're dealing with, so six factorial which is equal to 720. So now let's imagine that w we build a plot with the actual 720, 720 permutations. And let's say this plot looks like, so let's say this plot looks like, so we're gonna put the first three points, the first three data points that we, we have, the first three permutations, and one is right here. Let's say we continue to build this and it just starts to look like this. Right, so this is us trying to play out the 720 permutations. Let's say it looks like this. Let's say one is here, then let's say two is here. Then let's say we get a couple, we get two data points right here. And I picked this spot specifically because remember our original difference. Our original difference was 2.33. Let's imagine that 2.3 is right here. 2.33. And so the way the permutation test works is of the 720 permutations, the number that are more extreme, equal to or more extreme than our original difference, the true difference, um, divided by the total number of permutations is the p-value. And so now notice that these two data points right here are greater, greater than 2.33. But if in fact there were data points on the negative side that are less than minus 2.33, they would also count in this calculation as well. And so for, for this particular example, we have two that are greater, more, that are greater than our value, 2.33, the true difference. And so our p-value and so our p-value is equal to the differences more extreme than true difference divided by total number of permutations. And so this is equal to, there are two more extreme, and so two divided by the total number of permutations, 720, and so this this represents our p-value, 2 divided by 720. And so now I'm going to give um, another example. Suppose that we perform the same exact permutation test, but what we found um, were that there were, so I said this earlier, but I just want to show it as an example. We said that there were two other boxes 
that were less than, so let's say these boxes lie at, at minus uh, 2.75. So now we have a total of four data points. Two that are less than minus 2.33 and two that are greater than 2.33. And so our p-value would then become four over 720 because there are four four differences that are more extreme than our value 2.33 and so that's it that's how you com that's how you compute the p value for a permutation test thanks for watching